Well, good afternoon, my fishing brethren. We just got back from the water, and I don't know how well you guys can tell, but it is a it is a gorgeous day. We're down here in South Texas fishing Lake Falcon, and we've been here all week, and you know the weather has just given us all kinds of fits. We had a decent Monday. We went out with a guide, caught some fish. Not a lot of fish, but we caught some. I think we had a five and a six pounder in the boat, so that's always nice, especially for us. Uh, Texas Panhandle boys. We don't get fish like that every day. So that was a, a treat. Went out on Tuesday and we fished finesse style all day and just caught a handful and nothing nothing real big. Come all the way to South Texas and you're fishing in one of the best bass lakes in, in, in arguably the country but definitely in the state and here we are throwing finesse rigs and uh, it was really Wednesday, uh, windy and then Wednesday we had a front come through and that front shut everything down and so we didn't even fish on Wednesday. The wind was blowing about 30, 35 miles an hour right out of the north. We just didn't bother. I worked on the boat a little bit, had a couple of issues to deal with there. And then yesterday we went out. Um, that was Thursday. We went out and we tried all day and all day. And uh, I actually got skunked. We fished all day and um, I never did catch a fish. Dad caught a couple of fish out of the back of the boat and uh, just kind of added insult to injury. And then today I caught, I caught one fish all day. It was really, really tough. Uh, but it was a fun week, and I'm glad we came down here, and I did get some video. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you guys what we did uh, real quick. I'll show you some of the fish that we caught, uh, and then afterwards, as soon as, that, that, as soon as we're done there, I'll come back and uh, just kind of give you a little channel update, what's going on, what's happening this spring, and uh, kind of look, what we're looking forward to do. So anyway, I'm going to put this little bit together. The guy that we had, his name is Jared, and uh, you can Facebook him. It's probably the best way to get in touch with him, but Jared down here in Falcon, Texas. Fantastic guide. He's got uh, several houses he can put you up. This is one. It's got a, a beautiful view of the lake and um, his prices are very reasonable. He takes care of his clients. I really highly recommend him. Um, he didn't pay me, didn't sponsor me or anything like that to, uh, to say that. He just I, I've fished with him several years. I trust him. And, um, you know, last year we were going to come down and we're going to spend a whole bunch of money with him. And uh, he called me the week before and he said, hey, this front's coming through. Don't come. It's not going to be worth your time. And um, he didn't want to take advantage of the situation. So I really trust him. He's a good guy. So check him out on Facebook. So that's Jared Lee. Uh, so you could type in Falcon Lake Falcon Fishing and put his name, Jared Lee. He'll come right up. You can also go on my page, Pastoral Homestead Outdoors, uh, on Facebook and Instagram, and you can find him there. So enjoy what we put together, and then we'll come back, and we'll do just a little bit of a channel update, and I'll let you know what's going on this spring. Okay. 
between the same. Mama. Yep. It jumped. I don't know if you saw it jump. Right over there. He jumped right at the as soon as I caught it. Yep. All right. They're all about three, four pounds. I got it from here. Good one? That feels good. Hold on, give me down, give me down. Get down, get down. Well, I don't know. He felt, he hit it pretty good. Get your get your scale out. What's the verdict? Five six seven. Five point six seven. Huh? Big fish, but a fish. Yeah. Two bats. Ouch. Oh. Two fish. As far as our trip down to South Texas, that's all she wrote for all four days that we fished, five days that we were there. That, that's the only video footage that I have. The wind gave me all kinds of fits and I've been out of making videos for about a year now and um, I got to upgrade some equipment because the, the wind just ate my lunch. There was a whole bunch of, there were several fish, I said a whole bunch, not a lot, but there were several fish on film that uh, you just couldn't, the wind was so bad, it was worse than even what you just saw, and it was it was so bad, I just couldn't put it in there, so I apologize. Okay, real quick, um, this is the first video in a while. 
and I'll be posting a lot more uh, coming up. We're, we're, we're trying to revamp this channel. Uh, something happened in my personal life. We actually, um, I, I had started a church in Albuquerque and a lot of you guys had followed me and we we're going to do some things in New Mexico and blah, blah, blah. And it kind of fizzled out a little bit. The church was going strong and well and growing. And uh, I actually ended up handing that church over to my associate pastor. And um, I have moved back to Texas and back to the Texas Panhandle area. Uh, and this is where I'm from. This is my home. My family is all here. My wife's family is fairly close. Uh, and this was the right move for us. So we moved to a small town uh, just outside of Amarillo, Texas. And um, I'm pastoring a church here. And in, in part of pastoring that church is this channel and um, showing things that we can do as Christians to involve the community around us, even in small towns, and, and some ways we can do that. Lots of fishing videos, outdoor videos, hunting videos, some things that I'm, I'm now able to do a lot more. You know, in Albuquerque, if I wanted to go fishing, um, it was a two and a half hour process from the time I hooked up the boat to the time I actually got on the water was at least two hours, usually two and a half to three. Now, where I live at the moment, I can hook up my boat and be on the water in about eight minutes. Now, it's not the best lake in the entire world, but it's a lake and it has fish in it and it's a lot better situation than what I had uh, before. So anyway, that's kind of where I am. Uh, I am pastoring a church here. It's a full time job. Uh, so we'll be doing this channel on the side of that. Also, uh, we're starting a little community market garden, uh, market farm. And so um, there will be a separate channel that I'll be doing in the future, hopefully starting this coming week. And so that will be called Fairlanes Farms. You can find that on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those good things. And uh, we'll have fresh produce um, here coming up within the next few months and weeks. Already we got some microgreens ready to, uh, to sell or to give people. So we got some things coming up. I'm really excited about this stage in my life. I loved New Mexico. I loved Albuquerque. And I really loved the people that I met uh, and cherished while I was there. And I'm going to miss them. But uh, here we are in a new stage of life and uh, doing something different. And hopefully back to my roots a little bit more and uh, hopefully give you guys some information and some content that you enjoy. Uh, I'm never going to be as, as flashy and as big and bright as some of those fishing stars. Uh, LFG continues to pump out just fantastic, fantastic com co content and I'm so jealous of what he gets to do and uh, uh, not jealous to the point of being envious. I'm very happy for him. I'm happy for his family and they've worked very hard to be where they are. If you go back and look to, at his very first video, you know, it's it's a decade plus that he's been doing this. So good on him. Um, I don't I don't envy him at all. I'm jealous of what he's doing, um, but he's doing it and doing all the hard work, and I'm, I'm just happy for him and happy for all those guys that are succeeding in their dream of making fishing videos, and uh, it's really good stuff. So we're going to follow suit. We're going to do some things, and uh, I hope you give us a follow. Like and subscribe if you haven't done that. Go over there on Facebook, Pastoral Homestead Outdoors on Facebook, Pastoral Homestead on Instagram, and I believe Pastor Pinewood on Twitter if you want to go follow me. And Twitter's going to be a little bit more uh, political in nature, so if you're interested in that, feel free to go over there and, and follow me there. But I'm glad that you're here. If you're just now finding the channel, I'm glad that you stayed all the way to the end. If you're an old friend of mine, leave a comment so I know you're still around. Some of you guys have been with us from the very beginning, and uh, I miss hearing from you. I miss making videos, and hopefully we got some stuff coming soon down the pipe, and uh, hopefully in the next few days you'll see several videos pop up. And uh, Anyway, I really appreciate you guys. I miss you guys, and I uh, can't wait to be making videos again. So God bless you and your family. I hope you guys have a great, safe afternoon, and stay tuned, and we'll catch you next time.